Hello, Nick Jones here for the first intermediate episode of the abs series. Feel free to pause and read the disclaimer thoroughly. Secondly, I use this as my warm up. I don't recommend that for everyone. If you want a full warm up, see a link in the description below. And then apart from that, all you're going to need is your body weight and a mat for this episode of the abs. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I want you on your back on the mat and let's get ready to go. We're gonna start with crunches, legs in the air, hands gently supporting the head, chin away from the chest, head looking straight up at the ceiling above you. And then just gently lift your rib cage on and off the floor. Imagine a piece of string between your sternum and pelvis and you're trying to shorten that piece of string. The nearer that chin is to your chest, the more you're gonna feel this in the back of the neck. Okay, if you do start to feel this in the top of your legs at all, feel free to drop your feet down onto the ground and then continue with what you're doing with the top half. And then every time you come up, big pause, big squeeze at the top. Big pause, big squeeze, breath out at the top if you want to feel that contraction a little seconds. more. Okay, coming up with our next move is going to be the reverse crunch. You're going to have your arms straight, slide them round to the back of your wrists on the outside of your bum. So arms dead straight so they support your back all the way along. Let's go. And then let's get to it. Soft bend in the legs and then just knees to chest. That bend in the legs stays the same throughout the arc of motion. And again, you can challenge your core a little bit more by having your arms out to the side, not supporting your back but remember to really brace your core as you do that. I tend to teach this way because it agrees with the most people and then just give you that harder option if you want it. Heels gently touch the ground each time, little roll up of the hips, an inch or two off the floor at the top. Again, if you feel this in your back at all, bend your legs a bit more. Or don't go quite as low with your legs. Okay, move number three, we're gonna go through to ab bicycles. Okay, you're gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee, then switch over. You're almost gonna hit the top of your crunch first, then just switch your move. Again, keeping that chin away from the chest so you don't feel it in the neck. Here's an option, all coming up in a minute. So if you feel it in your back at all, or the top of your thighs a bit too much, this is your option here. Just opposite elbow to opposite knee, but the feet touch the ground each time. If you feel it tall on your back, don't kick your legs out quite as far. And if you feel it at the top of your thighs, kick your legs up a little higher at about a 45 degree angle, okay? Remember though, to brace your core correctly before doing this exercise. Imagine you're trying to get into that pair of trousers that are just one size too tight. So that holding of the tummy is what makes you feel this in your abs. If you're not feeling this in your abs, you need to make sure you're bracing your abs harder. Okay, next move, plank. Elbows directly underneath the shoulders, hips in line with the shoulders, or if you feel it a smidge in your back, have your bum a little higher than your shoulders. What you don't wanna do is have your bum below your shoulders, in my opinion, because it turns it into a lower back move where your lower back is holding the weight of your body. We don't want that, we want it all in the abs. I want you to um, brace your core. Imagine you're getting into that pair of trousers, they're a little bit too tight. Brace your core and actively try and hold your body weight in your abs. Don't push down with your arms to make it easier. Don't push down with your legs to make it easier. Just brace that core harder and harder. This first plank we're hitting just for 50 seconds. Okay, so each move so far, 50 on, 10 off, 50 on, 10 off. And then the final plank, you can go for as long as you want. So here we go, back to the start, back to the crunches, hands gently supporting the head, legs in the air if you like, chin away from the chest, head looking straight up at the ceiling and just lift that rib cage on and off the floor. Big pause, big squeeze, breathe out each time. And imagine that piece of string between your rib cage and pelvis, you're trying to shorten that piece of string. That's how you get those abs to contract. And again, on this second time through, if you don't feel you need to pause, 
that it doesn't mean Halfway you're superiorly there. strong. It means you can be contracting your abs harder. If you are feeling at the top in your, th uh, if you are feeling at the top of your thighs like I was on this, feel free to drop your legs down onto the floor and keep going with this option instead. Ten seconds. Again, my abs were so alive at this point, I was still getting a really good contraction with my legs on the floor. Right, move number two, back to the reverse crunches. You're gonna go arms straight, slide them round to the back of your wrist or on the outside of your bum. Make sure your arms are straight all the way along, supporting that back. Soft bend in the legs and knees to chest. The bend in the legs stays the same throughout the arc of motion. You see it's my knees moving in and out and down. Okay, and then the bend in the legs stays the same. We don't wanna be bending loads at the bottom. There's your option there. If you want to make it a bit easier on your back is tuck your legs right in and still do the same move. So bend your legs more. Halfway if you feel it there. in the back at all. Again though, if you are, feel, uh, if you are uh, doing this intermediate session and you do feel like you can handle more, feel free to just do the video straight away again. 10 seconds. So you've done two rats, so you just do the video, just rewind it straight back to the start and keep going. This combination should really get your ass. It's uh, one of the first ones I ever used with anyone and still one of the most effective. Right, here we go. Add bicycles time, opposite elbow to opposite knee, then switch over. I took all of my 10 seconds rest there, just because I know this round my abs were on fire. They were alive. I was getting a really good mind-muscle connection and they were screaming. Again, if you don't need a pause during this round of our bicycles, you need to ask yourself, are you just trying to survive the round or are you trying to work your abs? Halfway there. As there's two completely different things. If you're getting that contraction right, your abs should be on the point of cramping if they haven't already. If you do need to pause, like I just did then, take the pause, then jump straight back in as soon as you feel you can. Whether that's two seconds rest, five seconds rest, or 10 seconds rest, whatever. Just do what you can. Rest. Final move, the plank to the finish. Again, elbows directly underneath the shoulders, hips in line with the shoulders. Let's or go. if you're back, if you're feeling a smidge in your back, just creep that bum a little higher. But as you pull your bum up, try and contract your abs harder. Again, brace your tummy as if you're trying to get into that pair of trousers that are a little bit too tight. And then hold the weight of your body actively in your abs. Deliberately try and contract them against the weight of your body. Don't push down with your arms. Don't Halfway push down there. with your legs. Don't push out with your arms or legs. Try and hold all of the weight in your abs and then let's just burn them out to the finish. I'm going to ignore the break, so I think I plank for about two minutes. Ten seconds. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first 50 seconds, you have an option of whether you can pause and then go back in when the, when the, uh, when the app says start again, or you can ignore that rest if you want to work that a little bit harder. Also, if you're not up to doing even a 50 second plank yet, feel free to take pauses and just join back in when you feel you can. So drop to the knees, rest and jump straight back in as soon as you feel you can. There's the optional rest. Up to you whether you take it. Or this final round, what you can do is you can essentially just track it. So do one max effort plank, make a note of the time, do this workout again, and then just slowly try and increase it till you're up doing the two minutes straight. As soon as you're doing that, two minutes straight, okay. Then what you're gonna do is either rewind the video, do it again, check out one or check out one of the other ones, or move to my advanced series where we're doing kind of more 12 minutes plus in terms of our training. I like to do about eight to 12 minutes a day. If I skip a day, I then do a more advanced session, like a slightly longer session. Okay, that's a wrap on this session. So sink straight into child's pose, feet together, knees apart, hands up above your head, and just sink back. This always feels really good after the plank. One more stretch coming after that one. Here, on your back, pencil stretch, legs as close together and arms as close together as you can, nice and long and thin. 
for yourself as long as you can. Suck in the tummy as hard as you can. You should get a nice big stretch in the abs. Hold it for a few seconds, then bring the feet in, give the back, the lower back a bit of a rest, and then go back out, do it again. Suck in the tummy, pull yourself long and thin. Halfway there. Stretch out those abs. And again, just track that plank week to week or work out the workout, try and get it slowly improving. Apart from that, there's lots of other ab workouts and stretch videos on this channel. Feel free to check them out, like, subscribe the channel, support the channel. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.